today I'm guessing Pokemon only using emoji. If I guess the Pokemon right, I get to add it to my team. There's 15 rounds of this, so make sure to comment down below how many of these emojis you guys guessed correctly. Starting off with number one, we have a bird and a bat. The problem with this one is there's a thousand birds in Pokemon and there's a thousand bats in Pokemon. Well, maybe not. There's like Crobat, Swoobat, maybe like Noivern. Does that count as a bat? I don't know. You know what though? I think that this bird could maybe be considered a crow. Is that a crow? I think it might be. Maybe like a raven. But if this bird is a crow and that is a bat, when you put them together, it makes Crobat. So my guess for Pokemon number one is Crobat. Let's see if we were correct. Yes! Let's go! Put it on the board! That is one point for me. So far, we are one for one. But again, this challenge is supposed to get harder and harder and harder to the point where it's nearly impossible by the end. Next up for number two, we have a horse and a wave. A wave that is crashing. Um, What are some horse Pokemon in the game? There's Rapidash. There's Mudsdale. There's definitely a couple of them. There's like Glacier and Spectrier, but I'm not sure what like the water type. Like, is there a water horse? Hmm. We're already, it's getting a little bit more challenging, I think. Okay, maybe. Okay, horse. Horse. Oh, horsey. 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 Okay. Horsey. That has to be it. There's no way it's anything else. If it is any other horse Pokemon that I missed, I just feel like an idiot. But horsey is definitely going to be my guess for round number two. Come on, please. Show me the money. Horsey. Horsey, are you in there? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> I never thought like horsey would be a very important part in a video, but it is. That is two points for me. Oh, and also every single time I get one of these Pokemon, right? I get to catch it. So now I have Crobat and Horsey on my team. Hopefully we get some stronger Pokemon as we move forward. Next up for round number three, we have a Bell and some sort of plant. Maybe like Bell Awesome? Blossom is is a grass type Pokemon and it has Bell in the name. Um, what else? Is there like a Bell Pokemon? Chingling. Ching Chingling is I think it's Bells, isn't it? But I don't know what that has to do with like grass. Um, Bells. Bell Sprout. Sprout! Oh, that's a sprout, right? That's what sprouts are. They're like little little tiny plants that are still sprouting. So Bell Sprout is is a good one. I like that one a lot. Bell Sprout. Be I mean Weeping Bell. No, Victory Bell. I mean if that was a trophy and a bell, maybe victory bell, but no, I still think bell sprout is probably the best answer here. Let's go for that. Let's lock it in. Let's see bell sprout. Let's go. Three, four, three, baby. Come on. And there we go. There is our bell sprouts. Still not a very strong Pokemon. I'm hoping though that as things progressively get harder and harder, the Pokemon get stronger and stronger. Moving on to round number four. We have the number nine and a fox. I feel I feel like this one's pretty obvious. I'm not gonna lie. I got I got nine tails instantly because nine tails, well, it has nine in the name and has nine tails and is also a fox. It could be that maybe Vulpix, but because it's a nine, I feel like it has to be nine tails and I can't think of anything else. So for round number four, let's lock in nine tails. Show me. Yes, let's go, bro. Okay, this is going very, very well. And honestly, I didn't really expect anything different. So if I finish with a score or anything under 13, I will be very upset with myself. So that is kind of my goal. But make sure you guys are keeping track as well. And don't cheat. Don't skip ahead in the video. Give your honest answers down below. I wonder if anybody can get all 15. Okay, next up though, we have a wing and on. I don't know what the arrows mean though. Like left, right, and then on. I, I'm, I can think of fly, fly gone, fly gone. Because you're like flying with wings and then gone. Oh man. Wait, I actually, this one's tough. Fly, wing, wing, Wing on, wing on, fly gone, air, air on, air on. Is this air? Maybe this is like air because like when you fly, you're a flying type Pokemon. Air, air on, air on. Oh no, dude. Wing, wah, wing, wing. That is a wing, right? Or maybe feather? I'm honestly torn, guys. I don't know. Is air on a stupid answer? I feel like if this was supposed to give me air, it would be. It wouldn't be a wing, right? It would be like. Well, how do you even do it? How do you emoji for air? I, I really. Really like fly gone because you're flying and then on like fly on so it just sounds like fly gone but i think i'm gonna lock in aaron guys i don't i don't know i don't know don't hate me aaron is my answer <sighs> let's see come on i actually don't want to see it here no it is fly gone no 
Oh, gosh dang. Ew! What happened to his eyeballs? This dude has seen some things. Yo! Oh, no. Lord, have mercy. Go back in your cage, you filthy animal. Gosh dang it. I was so close. I thought it could be Flygon. I just thought Aaron was a better answer. Ah. <sighs> Gosh dang it. Well, I'm now four for five. I'm really gonna have to do very good for the whole second half of this video, which, by the way, is only supposed to get harder and harder. And I, w I believe that this is now level two because we are on the second wall. So it went easy, medium, impossible. So let's see what we can do here. Level six is a snake with a skull. So obviously some snake Pokemon, Ekans, Arbok. I guess Arbok could make sense because it's like poisonous, right? Which skull, you know, poison skull. I actually, what could the skull mean? Skeleton dead. Okay. Well, it has to be a snake, right? It's got to be a snake. So I'm thinking Sanaconda, Seviper, um, Arbok, Ekans, any other snake Pokemon. I don't know. It's got to be one of those four, I think. And I, I don't really know the best way to like decipher what the skull means. So I think I'm just going to go with like the most popular one. Okay. The only thing I can think of is Arbok has like a face on its chest, which really honestly doesn't very much so resemble a skull, but it's a, it's a face on it. So maybe Maybe that's, maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna go Arbok. I don't know what else to do here. So let's lock in Arbok and see if we got it right. Yes! Oh, let's go. Okay, the, the face on its chest maybe is not so much of a face, but uh, it doesn't matter. That's not the point. The point is we got it right. Let's go. Bingo. Let's go Arbok. Welcome to the team. Our team still isn't like insanely strong, but at least we have a good couple of fully evolved Pokemon now. All right, next up we got level seven. We have a dragon. Dragon and a city that, I mean, it's nighttime. The moon is out. Are there any like dark dragon types? Dark dragon, dark dragon types. Um, hmm. I mean, Eveltal is like, it's not dragon type, but it kind of looks like a dragon. And is a dark dragon dark? Is there any dragon dark Pokemon? Does that not exist? Or am I being stupid? I do tend to be stupid very often. So that could certainly be the case. It's definitely a typing and I just can't think of the Pokemon. Dragon Knight, Dragon, Dragon Knight, Dragon Knight, Dragon Knight. It has to be Dragon Knight. There's no way. The only other way is if there's a dragon dark Pokemon in the game that there definitely is. And I just can't think of it. And it's making me really upset. But I do feel like Dragon Knight has to be the answer. I mean, what else could it possibly be? So lock in Dragon Knight. Let's see. Come on. Yes. Let's go. A pseudo legendary is now on the squad. That is what we love to see. So we now have gotten six out of seven correct. We are on a roll. Dragon Knight, get in my park ball and join the team. Good. Good, sir. Oh, Lord, have mercy. We have another one of these on signs. And I have very bad memories of that thing. Okay, umbrella on. Umbri, umbrion, umbrion. Come on, come on. I This is finally one where I cracked the code like instantly. It's gotta be umbrion, umbrella on, umbrion. It has to be. I don't know what else it could be. Umbrion, lock it in. Come on, show me the money. Boom. Let's go, boys. Come on. We are not messing around anymore. In the first First half, they had us a little bit. They had us by the rope a little bit. But now, now they can't stop us. I don't actually know who they is, but whoever it is, figuratively, they can't stop us. We are unstoppable. All right, Umbreon, let's go, baby. Join the team. Another very strong Pokemon. Okay, level nine. Um, We have a hat and a turtle. Uh, this is a specific kind of hat, though. This is like a military grade hat that people in the army wear. So that is making me think of like battles, uh, war. War, war turtle, war turtle. It has to be. It literally cannot be anything else. I just went through every single Pokemon. No turtle wears a hat. No other turtle has anything affiliated with war or hats. So it has to be war turtle. Let's lock it in. Bingo, bongo, wongo. We are on a streak right now. We are on a heater. We now have eight out of nine of these answers correct. Let's go. But as excited as I am, it's almost time for the impossible wall, which I'm honestly not looking forward to. I've been trying my best to not think about it at all, but eventually we're going to have to face our fears. Okay. And now we have number 10. We have a shooting star, which makes me think of like star Pokemon, like Jirachi. Um, what else is like a star Pokemon? There's a Solgaleo. Oh, that's a sun, but 
Star. The sun is a star. Um, and then this person. Hello. Is that what that is? This hello? Is that what that means? Hello. Um, or me. Like maybe it's like, ooh, pick me, pick me. Star me. Star me. Star me. That is what it is. It does be me. And that is definitely a star. Star me. It's gotta be star me. Lock it in. Star me is my answer. Come on. Boom, baby. Yo, -ho -ho. dude, this is actually so much fun. I feel like I should be a detective at this point. Star me, join the team. But as fun as this has been, it is now time to move on to level impossible. I'm scared, guys. Like, I, I, I'm genuinely scared. So wish me luck, because I'm definitely going to need it. Number 11 has a face. It's doing this face. Like, oh, what, what, what does that mean? What does that face mean? I actually don't know what that means. Is that like a wincing face? Is he scared? Is he shivering? Is he stunned? Is he... What does that mean? And then V. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Okay. V create is a move that Victini gets, and Victini also starts with the letter V. Okay, let's, let's think about it this way. What Pokemon ends with the sound V? Because that's kind of how a lot of these go is like star me war turtle ombre on so this is v right so i don't know what this is i have no idea what that means but it theoretically should end with v so let me let me use the the big brain of mine in my ginormous head to think of pokemon that ended v vola b no that's it's not vola b v sabala v Guys, it's not working. My brain is not functioning. I literally cannot think of a single Pokemon that ends in the sound V. V. E Veltol. Okay, maybe look. Maybe this guy is doing like E. He's making the E sound. E. And then that's a V. E Veltol. V. E Veltol. See, look at my face. E Veltol. See? I think that could work, maybe. <laughs> okay, let's let's try to think of something else, but that's that's where I'm at right now. Um. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I was on the. Uh, I think I think I was on the right page. I think this guy is going E, and then that is a V. And what does that make? E V E V. Yo. Okay, if it actually is Eevee, that's insane. Th I've spent about like five minutes on this one level, which is by far the longest I've spent on any level. So if I get this right, I will be super happy. But Eevee is definitely my answer. Please be correct. Yes! There's, okay, there is no way that every one of you guys got that right. Come on, be honest, be honest. There's no way everyone got that right. So that is now 10 for 11. Stupid Flygon is the only one that I've gotten wrong so far. But honestly, the impossible wall has started off to live up to its name. Let's go ahead and catch our Eevee, but let's also see if number 12 is gonna get any harder than 11, because if these do get even harder than that one, I don't, this is gonna be really rough for me. Okay, so we have a black heart and a ninja. I feel like, again, the second emoji is almost always the, the ending of, this, of, the, of the name. So there's Shed Ninja and there's Gren Ninja. What does the black heart have to do with it though? Maybe that it's dark type? I mean, Gren Ninja is water and dark. So dark ninja, Gren Ninja. Um, what else? What else is like a ninja-y Pokemon? Ninja ask, I guess. And then there's like the karate Pokemon, like Throw and Sock and uh, and Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan. But those aren't necessarily ninjas. So they're just like karate guys. So with all that being said, I don't really know what this could be other than Good Ninja. So uh, I guess I'll lock in Good Ninja. But honestly, I don't love it. I don't love it. I just kind of like it a little bit. So let's go Good Ninja. Show me Good Ninja. Yes. Oh my goodness. We, I mean, we're just unstoppable. We really, truly are unstoppable. That is now 11 for 12. We are very close to our goal of getting at least 13. We need to get two of the last three right to get 13 in total, which would be absolutely epic. Greninja, join the team. Our team is actually fire now. Like, it's actually sick. Look at that. Arbok, Crobat, Greninja, Umbreon, Ninetales, Dragonite. That is pretty dope. But let's move on to number 13. We have a cat and a cat. Oh, okay. They're both very happy. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but they seem to be well fed and smiley. They probably just took a turd on their owner's bed. They love the cats are crazy guys. Like seriously, if you guys own a cat, you know what I'm talking about. They just got to do whatever they want. But anyway, let's try to narrow this down. So cat Pokemon, there's a lot of cat Pokemon. There's a lot of like lions, tigers, but what does two of them have to do with anything? Do any of them have two heads? Maybe is there a cat Pokemon with two heads? No. Um, does anything cat cat? Is that a Pokemon? Cat cat kit cat chocolate Snorlax? Imagine it's Snorlax, bro. Cat cat. I don't know. Two, 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 Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Mewtwo. Wait, because Mewtwo is a cat, kind of, is it? I don't know, but it's kind of like a cat. Mewtwo. Hmm. 
I don't love that answer. I just don't know what else it could be. Tube. There's two of them. Mewtwo. Cats. It look, kind of looks like a cat. It's like a standing cat. If it is Mewtwo, that'd be so sick because I get to add it to my team. And it would be my first legendary. So, for that reason, honestly, that reason alone, I'm going to lock in Mewtwo. Please. Please be Mewtwo. Yes. Come on, bro. Uh, this is amazing. Is Mewtwo a cat, though? Like, I mean, well, it does have a tail. It has kind of cat-like features in its face. Okay, I, I guess, I guess I see the cat-like in it. I'll take it. That was definitely another tough one, but not tough enough. Not tough enough for me. Let's see if the last two are, though. Number 14, we have a chair and a lizard? Chameleon? Oh, boy. A chair? I mean, I don't know what else to diagnose this emoji with other than chair. Like, what? Chair lizard. Chair. Chair. Chameleon. Chair chameleon. Chair chameleon. Chameleon. Sometimes if you just keep saying it over and over, that helps a lot. Share chameleon. Share chameleon. Charmeleon. 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 Yo. Wait a second. Charizard. Charmander. Salamander. Oh, is this a salamander or a chameleon? Oh, no. Charmeleon. Charizard. I don't think it's going to be Charizard because I feel like they would have done a dragon, but it could be a salamander and it could be Charmander, but it also could be a chameleon. It could be a Charmeleon. What does a chameleon look like? I think that's a salamander though. I want to say that's a salamander, but I'm not sure. Gosh dang it. This is tough. Last time we were stuck between two Pokemon was the stinking Flygon. And we got it wrong. So I'm not sure this is like, oh God. Okay. I'm going to go... I'm going to say, I'm going to lock in. Okay. I'm going to say that that is a salamander. And for that reason, I'm going to lock in Charmander for answer number 15, which is strange because there's no like fire emoji or anything. And that's sort of what you associate Charmander to have is just to be a fire type, but whatever. Let's see. Let's see if we're right. Come on. Show me Charmander. Okay. No, it's Charizard. And it's a shiny Charizard too. No, what the heck? This should have been like a dragon or something. Char lizard. I mean, oh, oh, maybe it, it's lizard and it's Charizard. Charizard. Dang it, bro. No, we missed out on a shiny Charizard. No. Oh. So we've missed on two so far, which means that we've gotten 12 out of 14 correct. And we missed out on probably the coolest Pokemon so far, shiny Charizard. That is so sad. This also means though that I have to get this last one correct if I want to hit my goal of of 13. I said I want to get at least 13 of these 15 correct. And number 15, honestly, nothing comes to mind instantly. We have an emerald and a hand, but it looks like almost a werewolf hand with like claws on it. Okay. Emerald claw. Emerald claw. Emerald hand. Emerald hand. Sometimes you also have to say the item is a little bit weird, like with an accent or something. That that can sometimes help. Emerald claw. Emerald. Emerald. Emerald clan. Emerald clan. Emerald clan. Emerald. Emerald claw. Emerald claw. That didn't help at all. Emerald. Okay. The first thing just is an emerald. Like what else could that possibly be? Unless it's supposed to be like Sableye because Sableye loves gems. Sable. This could be Sableye. Okay. There's, are there any other like gremlin Pokemon? There's like Impy Dimp, but that doesn't really have anything to do with gremlins. Um, I do kind of like Sableye, you know? Does he, he, does he, does he have a big claw though? Kind of, kind of, I think. Gem, gem. Maybe it's just a gem. Maybe it's not an emerald. Gem, gem claw. Gem, gem hand. Gem hand. Gem palm. Gem wolf. Gem werewolf. Gem wear. <sighs> Gem Emerald Armaldo? No. Gosh dang it. Guys, this is this is a tough one. There's okay, if any of you guys genuinely say that you got 15 right, I won't believe there's no way. There is no way you guys are getting this one right. I have no idea. Sableye. But the problem is a lot of these other emojis, like the actual emoji has to do with the direct name of that Pokemon. This one, if it is Sableye, it ha like there's nothing with Sableye that has to do with either of these emojis. In the name at least. Other than like the gem and then cloth, but, or maybe it's just green. Maybe this is just showing me like the Pokemon is a green color, maybe. Hmm. Green hand. Zerud? No, it's not going to be Zerud. Uh, honestly, guys, I really don't know. I have no idea. I think Sableye is my best bet just because it's like that gem Pokemon. So it loves gems. It loves emeralds. It, that, it has a big claw. I don't know if it actually does. Sableye is going to be my answer. And I really don't love this one. This is like one that I'm mo least confident about. Well, let's lock in Sableye. Come on, please. Please show me save life. Three, two, one. No, Rayquaza. What? No way. So 
I guess this was trying to show me green. And then this claw. Rayquaza? Rayquaza? Whoa, that one was actually impossible. What the heck? No. So we missed out on catching a Rayquaza. And we missed our ultimate goal of getting 13 of these correct. We only got 12 of 15. That is so sad. But anyway, if you guys want me to do another emoji quiz, let me know by supporting this video. And if you want to watch another amazing one, you know what to do. Click this one right here or else you'll stub your toe tonight and nobody likes stubbing their toe. But make sure you click this. Click it. Click it. Click it.